Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about using what we call tab completion to uh, speed up typing commands and, and going to various paths in your directory structure, etc. And tab completion is uh, pretty simple. It just means that whenever you get to a, uh, a file, typing a file or a path, that you know what's coming, or even if you don't, you can actually hit the tab key and it will automatically try to fill in uh, as best it can. And if it's unambiguous, it will be able to fill in as much as you need for the, uh, the command. So for instance, um, I happen to have a folder here on Myth that is, let's see, CS107. And in CS107, actually let's do a tree on CS107. On CS107, it, there's actually a fair amount of things here. Um, it, uh, it has a whole bunch of folders in it. Uh, one is called Assignments, and in the Assignments folder, there is uh, another uh, set of folders. Uh, let's see, let's, what's a good one here? There's Assign 1, and then Assign 1 has uh, Folder 1, and Assign 1 has File 1, etc. So let's do this. If I want to ls CS 107. Now I just typed the CS and watch what happens when I hit the tab key. Boop, it fills in the rest of it very quickly because it happens that there are no other files in my main directory that are CS 107. And then uh, if I type A and I hit tab again, it doesn't do anything. Uh, but if I hit tab twice, it will say, oh, okay, you've got two things that I've been trying to fill in. Both start with an A. So if I type A, S, and then tab, it will fill in the rest of assignments. Now, you'll notice this is actually pretty quick. If you know where you're going, you can uh, get there very quickly. Okay, so in assignments, I think there were a whole bunch of assignment uh, sign. Yep, so all, all the rest of the things that started with A, S were assign. And then if I hit tab again, it will show me... Uh, all the different choices. So let's do assign zero, and then if I hit tab, it will fill in the slash for me. And then I think I had some things in assign zero started with F. Oh, maybe not. So let's actually hit tab a couple times, and it will tell us, oh, there's all our choices. So if I uh, have, uh, let's say, output file, if I type OU tab, it fills in the rest of it for me. Okay, so let's actually do, uh, let's actually change to a directory. CD, CS tab, assignments tab, assign one tab uh, there, and then boom, I got there very quickly without typing much at all. Okay, and then CDF, and it will do a folder for me. It, it actually is kind of clever. If you do CDF, it will actually know that you can't CD into a file, so it uh, automatically fills in the F for folder. Uh, it fills in the folder part for you, CD folder two. And if I look at that, there's nothing in there. Uh, CD to go back, uh, let's see, CD folder one, and in fact there's nothing in there as well. And I knew that by just continuing, there's no other folders I could change into. So again, uh, you, can get to a, you can get to a folder very quickly without typing much. Uh, things. So let's go back to my home directory and watch this again. CD, CS107, assignments, assignment one, folder one. Boom. I got there in about two seconds and I didn't have to type anything more than the first character of each one of those names in the path. So tab completion is uh, super fast. It's something that you should really uh, start to uh, use so that you don't sit there and uh, take all this time typing things in. Thanks.